So, can AI design a trade show booth? Rich vouched for the trade show walk at A to Z. I decided to put three popular AI image tools to the test for today's walk wisdom. Let's get started. Let's start with Dream Studio. I've asked it to build a 10 by 10 trade show booth for a CPA firm. As you can see, as I started to specify, well, actually their colors are purple and green, you can get more detail, just like all AI tools, more input, better output. I would say though some of these may give you some inspiration, but aren't probably what you're potentially looking for. So I want to jump over to Shutterstock. One of the great things about their AI tool is it often takes existing stock images to create an AI image. Now if you've ever looked for trade show images in stock, they're very limited. But this again, same request, very different examples, might give you some inspiration. You can see for those of you in show management, uh, some challenges, but, but again, may give inspiration. So what I really liked was using ChatGBT in their image generator tool called Dolly is it starts to ask you questions and provide feedback. So again, ask for the same thing. I'm on a trade show booth. I've added some green and purple as colors. And what I love back is it's like to design it, I'm going to build a back wall and here's why it's important informational counters around the perimeter. They're giving you the details around seating area, promotional materials, why lighting and flooring are important. And ultimately the design should be eye-catching and functional, encouraging engagement and providing ample opportunity for staff to interact with visitors. Like this again is giving some great input. Would you like to proceed? Yes. I said, yes, first version, pretty interesting. Obviously some of those walls wouldn't work, but giving you inspiration. So I said, let's see it from above. It redid the images. We could, you know, go back and how work with the other image. But I said, okay, let's reduce the height. Came up with some new versions. Each one of these giving you some different, unique ideas. So I said, hey, let's make it smaller. I said, well, now actually needed by 10 by 10. So again, there's a 10 by 10 version. You know, I've started now adding that. Look, you know, I want to add a demo station. I want to add other elements. So again, here's another version based on, you know, remove the side wall, add a demo station and reduce the height of the back wall. Hmm, kind of whiff there, but says the confusion. I said, okay, have only one wall. This is what it came up with. Now notice I'm missing my demo stations and some other important things. And so I said, look, add a demo station and gray hardwood floors. So you can start to see how each one of these images evolves as you begin to create a design from some of these AI generators. So what's my take? Dolly is the clear winner of the ones I tested. But like most AI tools, think of it as a brainstorming exercise. This is especially true in this use case. AI struggles with dimensions and may suggest ideas that show management rules would prohibit. So get inspiration, share them with your internal team. Take those ideas to your exhibit design house, creative agency, or other contractors to actually build your vision. So that's it for today's Wonk Wisdom. I'd love to see any results you generate below.